That's right, Helix Sleep. And of course, Jim, there's nothing like a good night's sleep except maybe a kick straight to the face. (laughs) Well, if you want to go to sleep, there's a couple of different ways. You can lay down on the mattress or you can get kicked straight in the f***ing face. And apparently, uh, over at AEW, uh, Marina Schaefer's opponent, what is, what's the young Shafir. lady? The other one, the the one, the, the kicky, not the kicker. What's the young lady's name in the blue in the clip that we saw? I don't know because I'm not familiar with who she is. I'll find out. Well, her face is going to match her tights. Um, so this has been going around on Twitter, and I don't know which of their YouTube programs or whatever it may have been on, but... Basically, Marina Schaefer kicks this girl coming off the rope straight in the face for real and knocks her goofy. And I I only saw the clip. I don't know if she actually got to her feet after that or if that was it and they just pinned her whatever. But the, the clip of the kick is going around on Twitter. Here is what I've been able to ascertain from watching that thing. It was like eight seconds about 15 times because I, oh, my God. The young woman's name is Jasmine Allure. The young woman's name, Jasmine Allure, was 23 years old. Okay, obviously what they were trying to do, (laughs) Marina Schaefer is a mixed martial artist and, you know, her whole body's a lethal weapon. She's going to throw the big right-legged roundhouse kick and Jasmine Allure is coming off the rope she's already been shot there is hitting the ropes and she's gonna run and she's gonna duck this kick that's what they were trying to do and brian you asked me to take a look at it see exactly where where the line was crossed into botched territory marina was mostly at fault but jasmine must share some of the blame but since she's obviously green even though she's wearing blue and her face is now black. Um, when she's coming off the road, they they apparently didn't walk through this at full speed. Maybe they just talked about. Maybe they just called it and didn't walk through it at all. With the way that the modern wrestlers prepare and go through their match step by step, I would think that they had talked about it. If they got in the ring, maybe when they were all fresh and maybe when nobody was nervous and maybe they just walked through it at half speed, like I've seen it, come here, I'll throw this kick and you duck, okay, and then you turn around, they're not actually hitting the ropes, whatever the fuck. This wasn't a good idea for a couple reasons. Jasmine Allure seems to be a tall young lady, at least uh, uh, significantly taller from what it looked like than Marina Schaefer. And when she's coming off the ropes and she ducks, if you look, she ducked and kept going forward about where if Marina was going to throw a clothesline, that she could have got over that, over Jasmine Allure with a clothesline with the right arm. But the it, she still was only at, as she was bent over, she was only at the level of Marina's shoulder. She's five foot two. Is is that all? Which one, Marina or the other girl? It says that Jasmine Allure is five two, and according to public, you know, Wikipedia and shit. Wait a minute, hold on here. Marina Schaefer is Marina Shafir is five foot seven. I'm going back to the goddamn clip here because I'm. Let me look at this goddamn angle again. Where are they at? Okay. Oh, boy. Again, the, uh, all right. She does look All taller. right. Yeah. Well, you're right. Apparently, Jasmine Allure is not taller than Marina Schaefer. She just thought that if she just bent her head over without actually bending at the waist, that was, that was enough. But nevertheless... She's about the level of Marina Schaefer's shoulder as she's ducked down and she's still coming forward, and Marina Schaefer has misread the time that it's going to take her to get back off those ropes, and she starts the kick way too late, and she is coming up as the girl is running by her and just fucking kicks her right in the face. So it was supposed to be a duck, Jasmine barely ducked. 
Marina started the kick late and came up right underneath her face and fucking put her down for however long she may have been down. So, but the girl coming off the ropes is green. I, d I don't know if it was a real good idea from what I'm seeing again, and I'll look at it again. How far did Marina? Well, she may could have got her leg up that high if it hadn't been blocked by Jasmine Allure's face. But uh, she should have started <laughs> earlier on that on that journey, and she might have cleared the the young lady, who again might ought to think about bending over a little lower for a girl who's five foot six or whatever, going to fucking sweep kick over her head. I don't know. Good good wishes to all of them at the holidays. And again, you can see more action like that on AEW YouTube. But Jim, I have sent you something that I was just reminded of watching this. Marina Shafir shoot kick. Can you click on the link I just sent you of, I want to get your memories of this previous time when Chris Champion kicked Rick Steiner oh right God. in the face. Oh my God. Okay. Hold on. Well, I'm, I'm back to where, yes, I will. Oh my God. This is just one of those gifts, but, uh, it plays in a loop. It, it plays in a loop. Basically there was a tag, a tag team match play, uh, Involving <laughs> watching this in a loop, it looks so crazy. <laughs> Is Kevin Sullivan and Rick Steiner against Jimmy Garvin and Chris Champion? And that's when Chris Champion was doing the martial arts type of gimmick, and he would do the the crane kick. The that's the Karate Kid thing where he stands up. He stood on his right foot with his left foot up in the air and his hands out like a fucking whooping crane. And then he would kick with his other foot and he had already nailed a couple of job guys with this thing. And of course they couldn't say anything. And then in this one, Steiner has just taken a bump and he's getting up and Chris is all set for this fucking kick, and he just kicked Steiner right up under the fucking chin as hard as he could, and Steiner, he took a Steiner bump anyway. He took a complete backflip over, and the very next thing is Champion pulls him up and shoots him off, and they do a reverse, and Steiner just fucking clotheslines him and drops him flatter than a fucking pancake. And it was like a seven-second fight. And, I mean, shot, shot him, shoot shot him into the ropes, too. You could tell when Champion's going, he's got no choice but to come back at least five feet. See, that's what a lot of people fail to realize. If a motherfucker like Rick Steiner or Scott Steiner or a Dr. Death or one of the Road Warriors, if they shot you into the ropes and you maintained your footing till you got there, you were going to, unless you grabbed it, you were coming four or five feet if they wanted you to. There was no way around it because they would fucking put some muscle behind it. And that's when Steiner wanted to make a point, and he just fucking, and, <laughs> and champion's feet go straight up in the air and they stay there. Like, what the fuck just happened? How could you work that? The crane kick. Well, he thought in his mind that he was going to just brush right up around your goozle pipe, I guess, and not get the chin, and no. And I think this was the only time he actually ended up using it on one of the top guys that said, nah, all right, fuck you. Can you imagine of all the guys that do it to Rick Steiner? I, I, I'm trying to explain Chris Champion's mindset. Uh, he was a... An interest of an interesting cat, as they say. Did he have any chance with that Sean Royal? <sighs> Sean was the more level headed and actually the guy that I think he wasn't the best athlete, but he was the best worker. Chris Champion had a nice body and he was a good athlete, but his work was just it it wasn't there, and I don't know that it was going to get a lot better because he was kind of awkward in a variety of issues 